This is Colt. Emery. Emery. <laughs> Where are you, Emery? <laughs> Colt has filmed for every single person at your mom's house. And the times that I've invested in hiring Colt to film some of my videos showed me just how transformational good filming could be for a video. So I asked Colt if I could intern for him to steal, I mean, learn his secrets of filmmaking. I've been filming with the same point and shoot camera for the last year. So Colt also gave me his expertise to help me upgrade to an entirely new setup in this video too. Colt is simply the best, which is why he needed a whole video. Did you say to me? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I always heard the huh? Ow. Ew. Ew. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, I'm going to introduce Colt. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is Colt. Welcome, welcome. All right. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Welcome to this video. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Of course. Okay, so Colt, you basically just graduated from college yep. this semester, this year. Yep. So what are you doing now? Now I'm working full time with YouTubers, full time specifically for Kelly Wicasa as his filmer. Do some little editing things too. And um, I do some like smaller side jobs with other YouTubers. Where are you from? I'm from a place called Cornwall, New York. It's like in the middle of nowhere but it's fun. Mountains, biking trails, stuff like that. Yeah. When did you start filming? Essentially last year in February, Steezy Kane came to New York City and through this like big snowball fight, he was just looking for like anybody to help film extra angles. So I shot him a DM. I was surprised he got back to me and that's like what started everything. That was like super surreal and about like six months go by. I'm like, dude, like this is so cool. What I do now? Then in August of last year, Steezy came back and brought me along with Sneeko to film his How To Be Happy video. And and from that, I kind of had a little bit of connection with Sneeko and Steezy, who are friends with Kelly. And then Kelly moved in October and was looking for filmers. I shot him a DM and I basically had like some credibility, I guess. That's interesting because I think a lot of the time you think to like DM someone or do some type of outreach. A lot of the time people just never get to that stage. Yeah. So yeah. that's been career changing for you. It's like the outreach. It has been, yeah. Just a simple DM has changed my life, so it really has. At what point did you realize that this is something that you wanted to pursue full-time? I graduated back in December. I literally had no idea what I wanted to do. I was like a film major, did an internship, but movies didn't really seem that fun to be honest it's kind of like that thing where like if you're working and doing something that you love like it doesn't even feel like work it goes back to me just like loving youtube i could be so tired but if we're filming a video like i'm ready to go and like meeting all the creators and just you experience like pretty crazy things i guess i love doing what i do it doesn't feel like work and i'm just happy to call it my career i guess yeah yeah for like a complete beginner how long would you say it takes to like master camera skills just to get the basic settings down it's pretty easy like maybe two three days and you'll feel like way more confident than you were before to really master it you you just have to go out and shoot and like trial and error really is the best way to learn i think it's important to like not let your gear get in the way of creating but That's at some point. point it also helps to know and troubleshoot like yeah. when things go wrong as you grow you should probably increase your quality too that is important to differentiate it's like you don't need a nice camera to get started yeah but for something like what you're doing, it's an investment. So now we're gonna go to his favorite shop. I can't wait. <laughs> B&H. I can't wait. <laughs> Off to B&H, I can't wait. B&H, can't wait. This is my third time going to B&H. I've gone with Luke, Elliot. We are going to B&H. Which camera should I get? What about any of these small um, ones? Contagious, round two B&H. And now I'm going with the pro. <laughs> the pro, all right, hey, hey. So I'm asking which setup you think would be best knowing me for me if I want to like upgrade my quality and get like a nice upgraded camera. The Sony a7 IV came out recently. It's a great workhorse, hybrid, takes really nice photos, really good video. That's my recommendation. Okay. All right. B&H, let's go. <laughs> Have entered. This is so cool. Look at that box. <laughs> Look at that box. That box. <laughs> My camera recommendation is the Sony A7 IV. That's the one. It's a little expensive, but you won't have to upgrade for a long time, and it's like super reliable. What lens would you think? The one I would suggest is the Sony 16-35 Power Zoom that just came out. 
but that's not coming out until like June. Another alternative that's a little cheaper is the Tamron 17 to 28. It's light, it's affordable, and you get that like ultra wide angle that's good for vlogging. The hottest selling Sony in the building today. Oh, my mom is coming this weekend, so I'm sure that she will see that I bought a camera for full taxes. We're in Anchorage, we don't pay taxes, and I'm going to Anchorage. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Cole. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so camera basics, you got your aperture, ISO, and your shutter speed, right? So your shutter speed is basically how much how long the shutter is gonna be open for. So that'll mess with your motion blur and also like the brightness of your image. So if we mess with the shutter speed now, say we crank it down, right? We're gonna let more light in. But look at your your motion. Whoa. Your shutter speed's open like really <laughs> really long. Sorry, you guys are gonna, probably gonna throw up after watching this. If we go all the way down, we'll have to boost the ISO to compensate, but now everything is like, it's like a picture. There's not a lot of like motion blur. It's called staccato, I'm pretty sure. So then right here is your exposure, right? So a normal standard exposure is zero, but if we go too high, we're gonna be blown out and see how it's, it's like blinking. That's uh, overexposed. Vice versa, if we go too low, it's gonna go into the negatives, underexposed. So the next step is, is ISO, your sensor's sensitivity to light. So generally you wanna keep it at a lower ISO because there's less grain, right? Generally in low light, when you jack up the ISO, it better exposes you, but you introduce a lot of noise. And then I guess the last thing is aperture. Aperture is also how much light you let into the sensor, but also determines like what's in focus. So like right now, if I come closer, like you're out of focus. Right, but then if we crank up the aperture, like more comes in focus, and now like everything is kind of in focus. Right now we're at f22, everything is pretty much in focus, and then if we go all the way to 2.8, now like it's blurry. That was a good little lesson. I don't know if you learned anything. From this to to this. It's much better, isn't it? Learning my camera has always been something that was very daunting. ISO, lenses getting bigger and smaller, depth of field, it all just seemed really confusing. And I was like, if I could just use this little point and shoot camera and be fine, then that's what I'm gonna do for the time being. However, after meeting and then also working with Colt on some of my own videos, his footage is just on a different level. While Colt did a great job of explaining, I really need to go and do that and learn on my own. Right now I'm shooting in manual. I've only really ever shot in auto and I think part of it is just me not trusting myself to shoot properly. So that's where Skillshare has come in so beautifully. And I am super excited to be partnering with Skillshare for this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. With Skillshare, you can invest in yourself and in your personal growth. I am watching Jordi Vandeput's course. It's called DSLR Filmmaking from Beginner to Pro. I'm also simultaneously watching Dennis Schrader's Videography for Beginners, Learn Camera Settings, Framings, Techniques to Make Awesome Videos. I like watching multiple people explain the same things because I feel like everyone has a different teaching method. There are literally thousands of courses. Our friend Nathaniel Drew has a course, Document Your Life, Four Methods to Live More Intentionally, Courses on Storytelling, Cryptocurrency, Screenwriting. There are so many courses that you can choose and learn from with no ads, no interruptions. So if you are interested in leveling up your skills, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description, a one month free trial of Skillshare. Once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get back to Colt. You don't want this, you don't want it. <laughs> and welcome to Anchorage, Alaska, cold. Uh, oh my God, I'm so cold. It's not that cold, it's summer, come on. <laughs> How do you ensure that you get the best shot? I shoot a manual, so everything is controlled by me. And that's like the best way to make sure nothing crazy happens. Like, I don't know, it, it being too overexposed or something like that. Mm -hmm. But with that, you have to like be quick because like going in and out, especially going from like bright to dark, you have to quickly change the settings so that it's like properly exposed. There has been times where I like missed the shot or something. And on smaller occasions, like, I'd be like, oh, can we like do that again? But it sucks when like something that you can't redo happens. And I'm just like, I should be fired. Dang. Yeah, it's like, oh. 
it's like you just have to be very present i guess yeah that's a good way to put it you just have to be very present be aware of what's happening because like you could like zone out and then that's when you miss the shot or like things will be the wrong settings and stuff like that so yeah, yeah. we should change locations where we're at yeah. now i think underwater is pretty cool okay Classic. <laughs> do you have any tips and tricks to work with YouTubers? I feel like I was in the right place at the right time. I think it shows whether or not you're passionate about it if you have your own content. So like even like doing your own little videos shows like your skill set, I guess, before reaching out. Got a trading credit for $800. You yes. wanna use it? Yes, please. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Have a wonderful day. You too. Yeah. How you feeling? the beginning of the rest of my life. <laughs> Look at this trip. How much does this outfit cost? Literally like $3,000. When I see Colt, I see someone who's like very, very hardworking, who makes like a lot of sacrifices to do his job. You're constantly filming for different people, travel like two hours yeah. to get to the city in order to do your job, like anytime you film for anyone. Yeah, it's like a part of it. I'm young, you know, you gotta make those sacrifices in order to make it work. And yeah, I mean, hopefully I can move to the city eventually. You start from the bottom and these will be the things you remember, you yeah. know? Yeah, like he's really out here grinding like every day. I appreciate that. What characteristics and skills do you think make you a good filmer? Being passionate about video, because I learn about all these different gears all the time and that's just like what I do in my free time. It really translates to like me knowing how to do certain things, control the camera. And at the end of the day, like just being reliable and also like not really getting in the way. I try to take a fly on the wall approach, be as quiet as possible in order to get the best shot, I guess, and capturing the moment. You and I always talk about how like we're more listeners. Mm -hmm. Do you think that being a good listener or being observant helps you with your job? For sure, yeah. The camera angle is basically what the audience is gonna see and that helps portray the story, you know? So even the gear that Kelly uses, I'm like listening into what he's saying and it helps me gauge like where to point the camera. If I wasn't paying attention, like it kind of just like defeats the purpose, yeah. you know? If someone were in your shoes, just graduated, super talented filmmaker, the only thing is they don't have their foot in the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What advice would you have? I mean, I feel like everybody says this and it's, it's a little harder than all like buying a new camera, being all excited about learning how to use it. But if you start with your phone, you're more likely to learn and fall in love with the process of making videos versus like being reliant on camera. You don't really need this like huge setup, you know, it, it's really what comes down to it is the story that you're trying to tell. Six months ago, I was in college not knowing what I wanted to do, completely lost. As a filmer and the people that I've met in the past couple months, like really have changed the trajectory of my career and even like built this little career for me, which is cool. This summer, I wanted to really like take my own personal channel to the next level and actually commit to posting. Like you said before, like now's the time, you know? Yeah the moment that I've been waiting for. Colt is going to unbox my camera. You should do it. What does Kelly call you? Steady shot. Steady shot. I need the steady shot magic touch. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there it is. So That's not too heavy looking. It's pretty good. Actually, That's pretty this good. fits your hand nice. Whoa. Whoa. Ready? Yeah. This is all you. Take it away. Hey. Hey. This looks good. This Great. is the perfect setup, I think. Even if you want to vlog, you like if you want to be awkward about it, even like out here is like wow. Enough, you yeah, know? I always do this. This is my favorite angle because I'm like awkward vlogging, you so know. That, that's wide enough. Wow. <laughs> you inspired me. You taught me so much, and you picked the best camera setup that I think I could have asked for for a 10-year <laughs> celebration. Yeah, no, no more cameras after <laughs> this one. I think that's it for this video. Well, Emery, thanks for having me on your channel. Go really check out Colt's it. channel. Thank you. He thank has you. a day in the life filming for Kelly Wakasa. Follow thank him you. on Instagram. Thank Aw, so thank you, Colt. You're the best. Thank you. Do you want anything, Colt? No, it's okay. No, no. Colt, say something. Uh, no, I don't, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Get the most expensive water there is. <laughs> Did you bring water today? I bought water, so.